Hey guys, welcome to the Dream Lab. I hope you're ready to jump right into another dream. We have Linda here and she's gonna be sharing a dream with us. So Linda, come on up. I was in a corporate setting and when I got to work uh, they, at this corporation, they said, you're getting promoted. So I said, okay, and they said, the lady will be here to interview you for that position. And so I said, okay. So the interview, it changed over to the interview, and we were on a terrace. Look, this, this building had a, uh, like a terrace office, like a, you know, at the top of the building where uh -huh. you could see out. It was a beautiful, you know, you could see the city. And so the terrace had a, like stone, glass, stone, and then glass, and the glass was a little lower, so you could just walk over and look over the edge, you know, while you're eating all these tables, people eating. And so <clears throat> when she, after she, she came and we sat down at one of the tables and she had a navy blue suit on and dark long hair. Uh -huh. And um, so she entered, she was Caucasian. And so we sat and she talked and we laughed and talked. So then she got up, the interview was over. So she gets up and she walks over to the terrace to look out over the city, I thought, so I followed her. And so we were standing there talking and she got near the edge of the glass part and then she jumped off and, and she turned into Granny on the hillbillies, uh, oh. Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> and, she, and she was flying and she said, follow me. And she went into, and it was darkness, stars, you know. And I'm like, oh my God, I was standing there like, I want to go, but I was scared I would fall, you know, that I couldn't fly like her. And I'm like, well, what do I do? I didn't know what to do. And I was just anxiety, you know. So, and then I didn't know what to do. And all of a sudden this man, he flies by this way. And he said, you need to follow her. And he, he had a big head, a suit on and all that. And he was just straight flying this way saying, you need to follow her. And I'm like, oh God. And so then that's when the dream ended. And I'm like, I didn't know what to do. And I've, I've always been perplexed. What does that all dream right. mean? Well, we're going to have some fun <laughs> figuring this one out. Let me repeat it back to you. Make okay. sure that I heard the whole okay. dream. Okay. So it starts out, you're going to work and it's a corporate setting. And when you show up at the corporate offices, someone says, you're being promoted today. And you're yes. like, okay, sure. Yeah. I'm like, well, you're going to have an interview. Yes. Next thing you know, you're out on this terrace on the top of the building yes. and there's like stone and then it comes down, there's glass and stone, there's mm -hmm. glass. And you're sitting there, all these tables, people are eating, mm -hmm. and this woman comes up to you, long dark hair, wearing a blue navy dress, blue suit, suit. navy blue suit, and she sits down, you have a wonderful interview. You're talking, mm -hmm. you're laughing, yep. engaged, everything is great. And she gets up from the interview and she goes to the edge. And so mm -hmm. you kind of follow her and mm -hmm. she's kind of looking out at the city and she just jumps off the edge and starts to fly through the air yes. and flies off into space. And she's saying, follow me. Yes. And you're thinking, I don't know if I can fly. If I jump, this might not be good. I, I'm, and all that concern is coming yes. up. And this man flies by mm -hmm. kind of crossways mm -hmm. and he's got a nice suit and mm -hmm. And he says, you should follow her. Yeah. And then that's where the dream ends. That's where it ends. Left with you just like, nice. what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing that. That's great. This is going to be fun, guys. <laughs> so what you're going to do is go ahead here in just a second. You're going to pause your video. What's the title of this dream? What's your focus, your sub-focuses, your details? and come up with an interpretation, and I want to encourage you, try to summarize the main point of this dream in one sentence. Now, once you've done that, you can add some more details if you want to, but try to summarize the main point of this dream in one sentence, because you, you can make this dream a lot more complicated than what it needs to be. If you keep it simple, you'll get to where you're going. So if you can do that, then if you have some more you want to add, that's great. When you're all ready, go ahead and start the video again, and we'll let you know what we got here at the lab. Okay, well, hopefully you had a chance to work through that and you have an interpretation. Did you write down your one-sentence summary? If not, maybe you could pause the video one more time. Just write that down real quick and then come back. 
But if you have it, let's start working through this. And we're gonna start out with diagramming out our dreams. So what did we come up with for a title for this one? Follow that granny. Follow that granny. <laughs> Yes, okay. Come fly with me. That's awesome. Lots of great titles. What, so who or what is the focus of this dream? The dreamer, yes. It is all about the dreamer. And what are our sub-focuses? Okay, so interview, and I'll put interviewer. That'll remind us, what else? Okay, that was off the terrace. That's more of a detail. Yeah, the fact that there was stone and glass, those are sub-details off of the, the terrace. The promotion, yeah, that's a very important subfocus. Because the first scene, that's the only subfocus really from the first scene. Everything else was in the second scene. So that, that is a key piece. And one of the things you want to think about, because especially when you have multiple scenes of a dream, you'll always have at least one subfocus from each scene of the dream. So even if one of the scenes seems a little bit smaller, like this one, she shows up at work and she's told she's going to have a promotion, and then scene shifts to this other scene out on the terrace and, and that whole thing, that seems small, but it, it's key. It, it's, it's its own thought that is part of that interpretation. And so you'll always have a sub-focus from each scene. You may, may or may not have extra details that are important. There's some details, and you could put them on there. You could not put them on there, but the subfocus is going to be important. Okay, anything else that's important on coming back to our interviewer and our terrace? I'm just going to put outfit, and that will remind us she had this long, dark hair, a blue... Um, suit, so blue suit, so very professional looking, uh, very professional looking person. That's, a, that's an important detail, professional outfit. What else? Okay, yep. Yeah, that, that, she, was, that she was Caucasian. Okay, what else is important? Yeah, that's, that's a real important piece, right? Because that's where everything takes a, a left-hand turn, like what just happened? Yeah, yeah, she jumps and then that turns into flying. Yeah. Okay, anything else important? Yeah she, yeah, she becomes granny. And I'm going to just put my arrow there instead of making another bubble. Um, and from the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> all right? It is funny. There's a reason why it was that person. Now, it's a detail. If you never figure out that reason, you can still give the main meaning of this dream. But there's a piece that is there. And then what else? Yeah, yeah, follow. So we've, we'll, we'll leave that there as well. Right, yeah, the man. You should follow. You should. And we'll just remember, you should follow her. Yeah. And then there's one other piece that's important to this dream, and we should have everything. Okay, the, yeah, that, that's a, a detail. We've got the terrace on there. The anxiety. The fear. 
I, I don't know. I, like if you take that out, completely changes the dream. That's almost a sub-focus. It's extremely important detail, almost a sub-focus. You could go either way with that. But that, if you take that out, you've got a whole different dream. And so that, I'm going to put that as a sub-focus. Her, her fear, I, I don't know. Should I actually jump? What if I fall? I don't know how to fly. Do I know how to fly? And that question mark at the end, what's going to happen? It's almost like the, the end of one of those sitcoms. <laughs> Tune in next week to find out what happens. <laughs> you know, it's like the cliffhanger in the dream. And it's fun, and we'll talk about the cliffhanger towards the end, but that is important in understanding um, the timing of the dream. Okay, so whole thing, yeah, it's corporate. This promotion, is this promotion a promotion at work, or is this some other type of promotion? What, what is this promotion? Everybody agreeing on that one? Yeah. All right. Do you guys agree with that one? I can't see your head shaking, so I'm going to guess. <laughs> is it cor corporate spiritual? So corporate is a play on words. Okay. That, that's, very, that's very interesting. I can see that. Yeah. So because you have the flying, because you have the stars, that it's going into the heavenlies, which is the whole point of the stars. You, you have this theme that says that this is, this is a spiritual thing. Now, that doesn't mean it's not going to have consequences in the workplace, but it is a spiritual promotion. Okay. Um, who's this lady? Could be Holy Spirit, okay? Step of faith. All right, so, so thinking about what's going on. This is someone that is in relationship. There's a good connection. It, it's clearly what's needed to get to the next place. And then this person takes off spiritually and says, do what I do. It, is that... That could be Holy Spirit, but could be Holy Spirit in a person. It could be a mentor. It could be a church that maybe has a different culture than what she's familiar with, Caucasian. Um, you know, dressed in blue, prophetic church. It could be, that could be related to that. Um, it could be a person, but it, it's, it's someone or some, this, some group of people that are going to take a risk and step out in the things of spirit that she's going to see. I know I'm, I'm interpreting too much already, but the, but the piece gets its meaning from the other pieces. So it's almost hard to, if you take it in isolation of the other elements, it's hard to figure out an element because the meaning of the element comes from how it fits into the dream, not just itself. There, there, there's some meaning there, but how does it fit in the overall picture? That's how you dial it in. Why it would mean out of it could mean this, 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 or this, but in this dream it means this because of how it fits in the whole dream. Does that make sense? So those, those are the. That's how you kind of dial in that piece. So this is a. Um, Spiritual influence, yeah, that, that's a simple term that, that communicates that. That's, that's really good. Yeah, spiritual influence. All right, flying. I've interpreted that a couple times. What, is, what does flying mean? High spiritual yeah, yeah, operating in, in the spirit. Um, the, the capacity to operate in the spirit. It's operating in the spirit. So spiritual activity, even, if we wanted to simplify it. And then the stars I mentioned earlier. Be the heavens. So again, 
tying it back to spiritual activity, operating in, in heavenly activity. Um, why Granny from Beverly Hillbillies? Uh, it's, it's, an, funny. it's an attribute because she's funny, because yeah. it's not what you would expect. Yeah, okay, so those are a couple pieces. And think about the story of Beverly Hillbillies. People that come from a mundane place that discover something that was hidden that takes them into influence and affluence. Remember how every single one of them started? You know, I, I, can't, I, I can't sing the song. But I bet if you're on YouTube, you can look it up if you wanted to. But like they find the gold, black gold that is, and then it, they pack up all their stuff and they drive off to Beverly Hillbillies and it's this whole, this whole thing. But it's about someone that discovers something hidden that launches them into something new, which fits this whole dynamic of this dream. Now, if you, never, if you didn't get that that's what that meant, you still have the, the point. That's just like it's adding an exclamation point. Instead of saying, truly I say to you, it's truly, truly I say to you. Right? It's just, it's just adding an exclamation point. It doesn't really change the dream. So, but it does add that, that, that feeling that came into the room when I was talking. Everybody's like, yeah, that, that piece that anchors something for the dreamer. So that's the beautiful thing about details. When you get them, they add that piece. If you don't get them, you can still get the main point of the dream if you have your sub-focuses. And then the guy that flies by, what is that? An encouraging voice, exactly. It's an encouraging voice. Yeah, they're encouraging her. Like So she hears the person, follow me, and then this person says, you should follow her. So there's others that are confirming this, that are encouraging her to step out. All right. Now let's get at least two of you to come up and share. How would you say this to the dreamer? And we're going to start with our one sentence summary, and then you can add more if you want to. All right, somebody, somebody take a risk. Somebody new. See, what's really fun, you, you, you may not know how long it's actually taking for somebody to stand up because we can cut the video and make it shorter, and you never know. It looks like they're just all excited, and they're getting ready to go. <laughs> Everybody's pointing at you. You go. No, you go. <laughs> all right, somebody step out. Come on. Yes. <laughs> so I think um, this in this dream, God wants you uh, to know that he's inviting you to be promoted uh, in the things of the spirit. Um, there'll be an invitation to, to s jump out and take a risk and to follow that invitation. You'll find yourself maybe being anxious about it, but he will come and encourage you again and tell you again to follow him. Exactly. Yeah, very good. Very good. And see how the, all the major points, there's a promotion, you got to step out, there's fear, but you're going to have encouragement to do so. Th those are your major points. You, your one sentence summary, God's promoting you, but it's going to take risk. It's going to take faith. The rest of it, it just begins to add details, begins to add pieces to it. So, one of the things that I mentioned while we were talking about this was the cliffhanger. How this dream ends with that big question mark. Is she going to step out? Is she not going to step out? Cliffhangers are often a clue to the timing of the dream. So, usually when there's a cliffhanger, it's saying that the dream happens after the person, the part of the dream has started, but it hasn't, it hasn't gotten to the end of the dream. 
So she's in the place where she still gets to step out, where the risk is there. So she hasn't done that yet. It's not saying that she's missed it, and it's not saying that she's going to step out. It's saying that she has the invitation, and now she gets to decide. So when you have those, those kind of cliffhangers in a dream, it's usually saying, this, this is the time for this. This is the time. Now, here's one of the fun things about dreams and dream interpretation. God knows exactly when a dream is going to be interpreted. And sometimes you will have a dream that you don't understand and the interpretation comes sometime later because the interpretation comes when you need to know the message. I, I interpreted a dream for somebody one time. We are doing an outreach and they'd had the dream for 17 years they had asked different people to interpret the dream. They had not been able to get an interpretation. I interpret the dream, and it's exactly what's going on in their life right then. But God knew exactly when they were going to get the interpretation, and he gave them the dream. So I want to encourage you that you haven't missed your timing. And I want to encourage you. You should follow her. <laughs> Take that risk. When, when you see that thing that's causing fear, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know how it's going to work out. But you know it's an invitation. Step out and risk. Yeah. It's been about six years since she had the dream. Yeah. That's wonderful. Guys, that was such a fun dream. I hope you learned something. Hope you were encouraged. We will see you next time at the lab. <laughs>